Scheduled for one fall. Oh, we're actually having a handicap match. Introducing first. to be changes in attitude of certain people here some of them not for the better but Big T who at one point was aligned with Prince Amin um, no more it seems I think and, he has seen the light well I think he has seen the light which with those shades on is quite surprising but certainly very popular here but my goodness me if you were to look at a size mismatch the only thing I could compare it to would be Rey Mysterio going up against Giant Gonzalez Two Rey Mysterios going up against Giant Gonzalez. <coughs> now, as we can see, this guy is a quite a big fella. Um, and with that size that he's got, I think... Oh, look at that, he's giving the chance to a fellow fan. Absolutely. <laughs> I think that's because the fan probably feels that they could take him. This match almost reminds me of, of entertainment you might have at a, a circus. Because it could be a demolition derby and it, it could get quite, uh, quite messy this one. I don't know, the numbers game should be T in the five seconds I think it will take him to obliterate one of them. Uh, the other one is on the outside least. and fresh. Exactly, yeah. Fresh meat. And then it'll be <laughs> another five seconds before that's over. Maybe we're doing them a massive disservice. I'll tell you what is massive, and that's Big T. And this can only end one way. Well, we, you know, we may, we may be... Well, we might... No, probably not. Well... I'll be, do you know what? I'll call it. I'll be, I'll be lucky if this lasts five minutes. Well, Crash Bandicoot's older brother went in there. He held his head. He didn't get very far, so... Well, if, his uh, partner didn't do much better either. I wonder if uh, Jack Bandicoot's better off just spinning around in a circle. Jack Bandicoot needs to be crashing boxes and getting that fruit because it's not getting him anywhere now. Oh, and there we go. It looks like both of them are trying to uh, take on Big T themselves. Look at the power! Big T is yet to break a sweat. And the crowd, as we can see, 
firmly behind Big T. I have to say, I like the Half of the Big crowd T. are actually firmly behind Big T. You just can't see them. With that size of that back, yeah, absolutely. The arrogance of Jack Bandicoot and the pop punk kid. Oh, and it looks like they're... Uh... Shut up! The problem with the pop punk kid is everything. <laughs> and we've just seen that uh, a fan has just told her... Uh, told... Crash bought that you can't shout at kids. Uh, Which is quite ironic, really, because she's about away. as big as him. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> hey, oh, they've got the strategy here, they've got a bit of a game plan here. I don't and think the game plan work. is they've created the human totem. There we go. So they're now genius. nearly as big I'm sorry, as Big but T. You've just said the word genius. Is it really genius? Yeah. I think, look at this. They're taller than him. It's well. Oh, we, we've got an actual lock up now. <laughs> we've got Do you know what? I actually quite like this. You've got to applaud the ingenuity. They're, they're going for. A, it looks more of an equal match now. And it's an actual lock up. You will only get sights like this in BWE. Oh dear. The human totem has gone very wrong. Jay Bandicoot is crotched on the top now. Now, if you were these two guys, what would your strategy be to take take on uh, Big T just this? Well, I would be worried if I was Jack Bandicoot. In the next few years, when I do finally reach puberty, <laughs> I'm not going to actually get there now because because of that. And the same applies to the pop punk kid now. I think it's safe to say any testicular fortitude has been inverted. I don't know how high the guy's voice was before this match. But he's singing soprano now, but... Oh, we get Jack Bandicoot on the top. Big rock. dive. Oh, and he gets oh, caught dear. by Big T. Just look, look at the look power. At the he got caught by Big T. Oh, and it looks like he's going to throw him into his back. And he has. And it wasn't even an effort. And the crowd are absolutely loving it. Big T Justice can do just about whatever he wants, whenever he wants. It must be a nightmare for him on planes. Oh, and oh, the pop punk kid has spat water in the face of Big T Justice, and now they're going to have to chop the tree. And that's exactly what this they're doing. Is great work, though, by Jack Bandicoot. If a man can't stand, bring him down to your level. Well, I've got to admit, I thought these two were going to get absolutely squashed in this match, and I thought we'd be talking about the next match already, but. Well, I, I, I go back on my word, it's longer than five minutes. Oh, but it might not be for long. That was a chop and a half. There was too much showboating by Jake Bandicoot there when they had the big man down, but a drop kick and they're still in the ascendancy. But how much do they need to do to keep Big T down? They need to stay on him constantly, and Jack Bandicoot just isn't doing that. His feet, but his feet went about two foot into the apron there. Like, what power from Big T Justice! Oh, here he comes. Oh. Surely this match isn't going to last much longer now. But what is amazing is that Big T actually has to stoop down to just be able to close like me. It's an inconvenience <laughs> to Big T Justice. Oh, look oh. at the power of well, running into that. splash into the corner. Surely, oh, now. off the ropes, double clothesline. He has to stoop down, as you say, to deliver that clothesline. Otherwise, he's going to clothesline their fringes. <laughs> To be honest, I'm, not su I'm surprised I haven't turned him inside out but now. Here we go. Give we're, it time. We're going to go for a power bomb. Please do not let him it power bomb. It doesn't matter what he does. Oh, oh, oh he's trying to oh, tuck the leg out. He's taking the leg and these two. The pop pop kids took the leg out. Nice. Oh, double team. These two this are like ants. They need to do. Ants More like death. Death. Ants <laughs> death, yeah. They're all over Big T now. Well, it is their Saturday night. Oh, anyway, <laughs> oh look at that. Shades of the Young Bucks there. Stereo kicks to the face. Now, now, now this, this is, is ridiculous. Stupid. If this happens, the ring's going to go. We might get a ring collapse here. Oh! 
Oh my! Oh my word! A delayed suplex there. Neither of the team members of Crashport have a neck left. BT, <laughs> BT Justice has just delivered a double suplex on both his opponents. How the that was cool beautiful. kid's head is still and attached the crowd to his the Oh, oh the, this he's is getting not those good. Leads. What is this? Oh my goodness me! Jake Bandicoot is dead. I, uh, yeah, I, I'm. Well, I, I don't know what to say. Oh, and it's broken How on up. earth? How that is that <laughs> helping his partner letting this match carry on? Because Jake Bandicoot, I'm afraid, has I, been I, killed. I, I'm, I'm sorry, I just think, I think the pop Oh, hang kid, on, mate. Like, just really, oh, oh, hang on, hang, hang on. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Can he kill me? Just happening? come to me. What on earth? This is an evening and a half. Can you kill me? Oh, and it's a... What? And it's a blatant DQ. What is going on here? What is going on? Kenny Kilbane's just coming to the ring and he's just punching. Why is Kenny Kilbane in the face. Kilbane got as involved can, in this match? As we can see, now, Crash Boat's leaving. But Crash Boat are hightailing it out Oh my here. God, he's just punched him out of the ring. Kenny Kilbane on his debut beat Dutch earlier on, but that's obviously not enough for him. He's come out here with that chain again and he's knocked. He wants a microphone. Just Kenny Kilbane's him. asking for the microphone. What is going on here? What is going on? Why is Kenny Kilbane getting involved in this match? Big T! You want to think you're a monster? You want to think you're a big guy? You want to think you're a beast? I'll get you a number, son! See how bad I'm looking! See how bad I'm looking! Give me a match with Big T! Oh, look. Uh, One, two, three. As we can hear there, he's, he's, he's basically calling BWE management out a to give him a, a match against the it's big man, BT Justice, to well, say whether or not he is the big man or not. Kenny Kilbane was impressive earlier on, but he might have just bitten off more than he can chew. Saying he wants a match with Big T, I think... He's had a few two knocks to the head. That's not something you tend to ask for. It tends to be something that's enforced upon you. I'm not sure how wise that was. And he's backing away now. Big T's coming round now. He's backing away now. The referee's caught. He's, he's telling him just to uh, back off. Well. Unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. What a fantastic... Matt. Well, ladies and gentlemen, your winner of the match by disqualification, Big T Justice! I am wondering if they wiped the stain of Jake Bandicoot off the apron following that match.